Here's our lymphatic man model. We can see a wide variety of nodes. Uh, all of the thin white lines are going to be lymphatic vessels, and then the yellow um, spherical looking structures are going to be nodes. We can also see the two ducts, the two collecting ducts. I see the right lymphatic duct here as it's draining into that right venous angle or the right subclavian. And then over on this side of the body, I see the thoracic duct coming up through the thorax behind where the heart would sit. And then up here and draining into my um, left subclavian vein or my left venous angle right there, my thoracic duct. Okay, so let's start with some trunks. Remember that trunks are going to be large collections of lymphatic vessels. You'll see lymph nodes scattered along them. Uh, the trunk that's located in this region here is going to be a jugular trunk. And because this is on the right side of the body, that jugular trunk is definitely going to go into this right lymphatic duct. If we were looking at the one on the left side of the body, it would go into the thoracic duct. The trunk located here is going to be our jug I'm sorry, <laughs> our subclavian trunk, and it's going to be collecting lymph from the upper limb. So our subclavian trunk and our jugular trunk. We have two trunks within the thorax. We cannot see the bronchomediastinal here because it's behind. I'm sorry, we can see bronchomediastinal here running along the trachea and the um, bronchi, we cannot see intercostal. The intercostal trunk sits posterior to the lungs and the lungs are in place here. Um, so that, that intercostal trunk is located right next to the vertebra. Okay, moving down into the abdomen, I see the intestinal trunk running through here. And I can even see a little bit of the lumbar trunk here. So the intestinal trunk would be, of course, collecting all of that lymph from the abdomen. And then that lumbar trunk would be collecting all the lymph from the lower limbs as well as the pelvis. Okay, let's name our nodes next. These nodes here, superficial on the thigh, are the inguinal nodes. Not visible here, but in the pelvis would be some pelvic nodes. Any of the nodes present within the abdomen are called abdominal nodes. Any of the nodes present within the thorax are going to be called thoracic nodes. The nodes within the armpit are all axillary nodes. Within the neck region, cervical nodes. And then lastly, just above or just anterior to our elbow, we have some supratrochlear nodes. And we can see those supratrochlear nodes here as well. So that extra set of nodes within our upper limb gives us two opportunities to filter lymph coming from the hands. And that's important because our hands are the place where we interface with our environment. So it's quite likely a place that that's where we're going to have breaches of the skin. And that may be a pathway for pathogens to enter our body. So we're going to filter this lymph coming from our upper limb first through those supratrochlear nodes, and then again through the axillary nodes as we return that lymph back into circulation.